Christopher. My name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. From the history you've given me, it sounds like you have a radial nerve irritation. A lot of times when people are getting some sort of impingement and then strain into the elbow, um, the numbness, the tingling, the fact that you've been pain-free with rest and then um, as soon as you go back, you go back into having these symptoms um, with exercise. It's all indicative that the nerve has remained irritated or impinged in certain directions. So what I would like to do is give you a few exercises that will calm the nervous system down as well as hopefully put tension on the nerve just enough to um, release the nerve to reduce the symptoms versus um, continue to re-irritate them. I would recommend doing these exercises for one to two weeks and then begin to slowly get back into um, your weightlifting routine and I mean slowly by doing you were doing weighted pull-ups I would do assisted pull-ups and work your way back up into weighted pull-ups I would significantly reduce your weights that you're bench pressing and then slowly work back up and when I mean slowly I would start with everything being pain-free symptom free so maybe dropping down even depending on the weights you're lifting I would drop down 40 to 50 pounds and then work your way back up to doing those max lifts so there's two things I'd like you to start with in the two areas that you're having symptoms um, from the history I'm assuming it's on the outside of your elbow here and on the front of your shoulder what you're going to do is you're going to poke around in there and find the area that it's painful. A lot of times um, the most common area is right through here and you're going to do just a cross friction massage on yourself or you could have someone else do it. But it's just taking the tissue and moving it back and forth. The tendons run down this way and so usually breaking up some of that scar tissue and where the impingement would be on the elbow going across this direction can help um, take any um, impingement or maybe scarring that would happen around that nerve and it would loosen that up. I would do the same thing at the shoulder. Then I would follow that by 15 to 20 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes of using a cold pack directly on the areas that you've had symptoms. So 10 to 15 minutes wait an hour, 10 to 15 minutes, um, icing it down. And um, I would do that two or three times and treat it pretty aggressively I, with cold packs two to three times for two to three days. And that will really help bring the inflammation right down around that irritated nerve. Then the next um, exercise is just a general calming of the nervous system that you can begin doing right away, um, even on those days that you're icing, I would begin. All these exercises that I'm giving you are really gentle, and they're just to calm the nervous system. So you can begin all of these um, right when you start icing and doing the massage. Then you can do these exercises on those same days. The first is an exercise you've probably seen before. It's the cat camel. It's often used in yoga, and it's just a general rocking and calming of the nervous system. So you're going to be on all fours. You can do it on the bed or the floor. Either one is fine. Um, and you're going to start with a neutral spine and then you're going to rock, bringing your head up, really dropping your pelvis down, arching your back. And then you're going to rock into the opposite direction. And you're going to do 10 to 15 and they should be completely pain-free. And you're just going to rock back and forth this way. So 10 to 15, pain, completely pain-free. The next one I'm going to have you do is a nerve glide. The nerve glide um, needs to be pain-free, not reproducing severe, severe pain, sharp numbness or tingling. It should be relatively pain-free 
Um, you might feel tension, um, just as if you're going to stretch your hamstring and you feel that, ooh, that's about enough. The tension is okay, but I don't want you to go into pain. So if, you're, if there is pain, you're going to just shorten the range of the movement. So the movement's going to start, you're going to be looking at your hand, and you're going to drop your hand down as you make a fist, and you're going to rotate your neck to the side. The opposite direction of the hand that's involved. For you, I would encourage you to do this on both arms. Um, I would start on the side that you don't have symptoms. It sounds like most of your symptoms are right-sided. I would start on the left side, do 10 repetitions, and then I would do the right. If you have too many symptoms on the right, I would just treat the left until the symptoms calm down, and then I would begin to do both sides. Because indirectly, we're tensioning and we're gliding that nervous system when we're doing it on the, the uninvolved side, we're still gliding the nervous system on the involved side. So I'm going to show you on my right hand, but you're going to do it on both. So you're going to look at your hand and look away as you make a fist and turn your hand to the outside. You're going to repeat it on the other hand, looking at the hand and to the side. The last exercise, I don't know if you have access to a foam roll. A foam roll is a nice tool for somebody like you who continues to re-irritate and flare up the nerve. And you're, you're describing some of your symptoms right at, um, in the biceps and in the pecs. So this is a, a great tool that can stretch, um, st stretch the front of you out as well as calm the nervous system down. It's a foam roll. Um, they can come in blue and white. They're usually about $20, and it would be a great tool for you to have. I'm going to show you this here on the table. You're going to lie with the foam roll the length of your spine with your head supported on the foam roll. And you're going to start You're going to start by just gently rocking back and forth. Then the next you're going to rock for about two minutes and the next one is you're going to do a snow angel. Just as if you're laying in the snow and you're going to do this 10 to 15 times. Again it should be completely pain free. I hope that answers your questions. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Be well.